A while back on my channel, I showed you how to search for underground pipes using this electronic pipe locator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can search for the location of buried PVC pipes, even under concrete, using your cell phone and one other thing. Inside of a smartphone are many different sensors, including a magnetic sensor, which happens to be extremely sensitive. So if you install an app on your phone, that's a magnetic sensor app, like you see right here, you'll easily be able to measure the strength of a magnetic field. Up here you can see EMF 24, 25. So if you take a powerful magnet and you hold it about a foot and a half away, you can see the value shot up on top. It's detecting that magnet. Move to the side and it goes down the value. And you see it going right back up again. So this could be used very easily inside of a PVC pipe, which I've done in the past, connected to either a drain snake or a fish tape used for electrical. In order to be able to sense the magnet inside of the PVC pipe at a reasonable depth underneath the concrete slab or outdoors, you want to make sure you use a powerful neodymium magnet. So this one here happens to be a one inch diameter, 25 millimeter, by I believe 3 eighths of an inch or around 10 millimeters. When I use it, I use two together. I place the fish tape in between and the magnet will stay tightly secured to the fish tape. You do not have to worry about this popping off the fish tape. You're using a plastic pipe. In the event it does fall off, all you have to do is shove the fish tape into the pipe It'll connect right back onto the fish tape and you can pull it out. What's very important is that you choose a magnet with high strength. So high strength is going to let you search deeper into the ground. And if you use a lower strength magnet, you're going to detect shallower. So this one here happens to be an N50. If you do not know where to get one of these, I'll place a link in the video description area. I don't suggest using anything lower than like an N38 but N50 is definitely the way to go. Okay, this is what it looks like. In my case, on a flat steel cable, I like to use two magnets because it sandwiches the flat steel cable. This has the curve on the end, so it can't slide off or attempt to slide off. It doesn't move easily because the magnetic attraction is so strong. Nylon tie right here, that's just to keep it from trying to slide up the cable as you're inserting it into the pipe. Let me take it over to the sink and let's give it a try. Once it's inserted, you're going to take your smartphone and you're going to get a baseline reading where it says EMF and you can just move about the floor. Fifty two, fifty three, forty seven. So around forty seven, forty eight. Keep in mind if the pipe is about a foot and a half deep underneath the floor level, you're going to have a much lower increase in that EMF reading. So you're going to watch that very carefully. If you see it go from forty nine to fifty nine or sixty, that's an indication that you're in the right area where the PVC pipe is located. So what you want to do here is start around the back, come around the sink, and you keep doing it. And if there's no change, which there's not, I went all the way around that side already, 43, 2, all right? So nothing really changed. You're going to push the cable with the magnet further into the pipe. Leave the smartphone on the floor because if you see the value starting to go up, you're going to know you're in the right area. So this is a 59 now. You see it's dropping off over here at 48. 59, 60, 61. So that's getting higher. And here it's 55, so it's strongest over here. 
So I'm going to insert this further. And you can see this rapidly increasing. Now it's at 78. You could also use these numbers here, see how they change, but I generally use the top one. So if I go over here, 65. So I know the pipe is not going this way. It's coming this way so far. 71. 62. 51, 52, 53, come back over here, let's come way over here now, 57, let's push it further, 50. okay, so this says 72 here, 90, 104, dropping. So it's not, it's over here, and you can see it dropped off to 97. One sixteen, one seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 116, 117, 18, 19. Now it's starting to go down again. You see that? Going lower and lower and lower. So that's a clear indication the pipe is running right through the middle. This works extremely well. You just got to remember your maximum detection depth using an N50 magnet, two of them like you saw, is only going to be about a foot and a half under the slab. Most of your drain lines are going to be pretty shallow under the floor here inside your house because as they go towards the street they get deeper and deeper. So it shouldn't be that difficult to trace PVC pipes inside your home under the concrete floor. If you use an app like you see here, a fish tape, it could be a steel wire, something that's fairly flexible along with the two neodymium magnets. I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did be sure to rate thumbs up and share. Thanks for watching.